Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to another video from TW White & Sons. Okay, so we've directly purchased this <clears throat> off a customer. Um, it's a 1.5 SportNav MX-5 soft top presented in jet black. Now this car has a very good service history with Mazda. Um, the last few services have done by ourselves here at TW White Alpington. This is how we know the car, because we didn't actually supply it to the previous owner. Um, came from Marshalls, um, which I believe are on the sort of south coast, Hampshire way. Um, <coughs> this car's on about 31,000 miles. The gentleman dropped it in today. Um, we haven't cleaned it, but it's in really lovely condition. They've kept it very, very well. So um, whilst the rain has gone, I thought I'd come down um, take some photos and a video of the car and um, it, it's, it's very very lovely and it has the tan interior which is really refreshing and I think it just makes it sort of um, ping uh, the car because most of them have got the black leather interiors nothing wrong um, I wouldn't complain about a black leather interior but I do think um, the light and the dark exterior colours um, really complement each other. Now the car itself doesn't even have a curbed wheel. Um, obviously we'll valet the car, um, do all the pre-sales checks, um, service, MOT if required, and um, we'll check that when we get in, into the vehicle. Now, <clears throat> I myself are a fan of the soft top because you've got the open back motoring. If you get the RF, um, you've still got, you're sort of cocooned in, and you've got a kind of big sunroof. Um, so not really a convertible in my opinion. So I'm a big fan of these and I'm also a big fan of the 1.5 because the car was only really designed to have a small engine. It was designed around the 1.5 engine. Um, <coughs> the two litres is fine, but I think the 1.5, it's that sort of classic um, sports car feel, um, you know, like the MGBs, um, the early MX-5s. Um, Triumph Spitfires, TR7s, all that sort of stuff. You know, they had smaller engines, you know, you got really involved in the drive. The two litre, um, in my opinion, it's, it's fine, but it's it's almost like um, the power is just there. Um, with this, you kind of got to work the little, the, the engine and, um, you know, get more involved, which um, I think that's what these cars are all about, but that's just my opinion. Um, now, the hood operation is very, very easy. Release it there. So I'm doing all this with one hand. The hood is up. How about that? Okay, and then you've got just that there. All right, now these hoods are all cloth. Um, this one's in perfect condition. Um, I've never known any of these cars to leak from the roof. Um, you must, obviously, with all convertibles, maintain the drain holes. Um, that we will check. Um, which allow water to run through the car instead of coming into the car. Um, but roofs themselves, unless obviously there's a hole in them, which I can't ever remember seeing, especially on one of these ND, the Mark IV. Um, yeah, absolutely watertight. Now, let me show you in the boot. <coughs> so it's a little secret button here. And you've got this enormous boot. Now, I say that, relatively speaking, it is a big boot. And whether the hood's up or down, it doesn't interfere with the boot size <clears throat> okay so let's hop inside um yeah there you go 131 ps so about 130 horsepower 129 horsepower which power to rate ratio extremely good <clears throat> right now let's get the car started oh <laughs> I thought this was a good touch. The previous owner, now I just took it off the steering wheel, but the previous owner gave us this with the car. So it, it sort of represents the two-toneness. So I'll put this in the boot. Um, up to you if you want to use it or not. I think it's pretty nice, but I just like to leave steering wheel standard, to be honest. Um, right, so two keys, put on the clutch, push the button. Car bursts into life. Um, I'm gonna put these windows up, because I wanna put the heater on because it is a bit nippy. Okay, so you've got climate control air conditioning. Okay, air conditioning I think is very important on a convertible because you'll, always, you'll naturally get a little bit more condensation in the car. The air conditioning will dry that out. Okay, um, you've got heated seats. Also very important because the best days are the crisp mornings, I would say. Hood down, heater on, um, heat, heated seats on, 
driving in those uh, those in those brisk, um, you know, chilly mornings. Fabulous. Um, that's what I enjoy anyhow. Um, you've got a six-speed automatic gearbox. The car is rear-wheel drive, so this lever goes straight into the gearbox. So a nice, direct feel, as a gearbox should feel. I think we've all got used to sort of more sort of indirect, almost sloppy gear changes. Um, there's the mileage on the car, 31,724. And look, I'm always amazed. This car has averaged almost 45 mpg. Now, the previous owners lived in SE, SE, I can tell you actually, SE 18, all right, so a built up area, you know, and look at the MPG. So these are super economical. So they make, they are a sensible car if you can get over it just having two seats and a smallish boot, a relatively smallish boot, okay? Um, you've got DAB radio. Um, you can actually have this upgraded to have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all right? Um, so it's almost future-proofed. You've got DAB here, DAB FM AM. Um, once your phone is paired up, you can stream the music as well as. Um, you've got SatNav, um, which is find address, put your postcode in, and off you go. Okay, um, and settings in here. Display settings, safety settings. You've got lane departure warning. It will warn you if you veer out of a lane. You've got the Bose premium sound system with speakers in the headrest. So you don't have to have that stereo blaring with the hood down um, or when you're making a phone call so the whole world can hear. Um, really nice touch that. They had that in the Mark 1s. Really do like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, these are these are, these are super little car and this in the price range it is in. I actually haven't had one in this price range for a long, long time. In fact, ever. Um, so... Um, if there's any, any more info you'd like on the vehicle, please let us know. The previous owner had it for three years. Um, I think they bought it, as I say, from Christchurch way. Um, oh, service history, I wanted to share that with you. So we've done the last two services. Um, but look, Christchurch Mazda, that's Magda Mazda. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven eight services and we've done the next two wow look at that so a really good service history which i think is, is always nice to have for a car like this because these are future classics it's nice to have a documented service history and i'd like the next owner to keep it up as well okay so um any more info just get in touch okay and we're a seven day a week business and we don't mind responding out of hours so pick up the phone give us a call if you don't get through, leave a voicemail. We will call you back because we get notified on our smartphones. Alternatively, drop us an email, okay? Um, we've got um, fantastic uh, part exchange facilities here. Um, we greatly welcome any part exchange, any make and model, but please, obviously, do all those things you're heavily encouraged to do these days, punching your reg number and all that sort of stuff. But get in touch with us. We'd like you to have a smooth, seamless buying experience. Um, and um, you'll get the best deal with a part exchange. So get in touch, let's see what you have. We've got great finance facilities as well, warranty extension facilities, but the car does come with a 12 month Mazda warranty. So that will also come with roadside assistance. So this will have roadside assistance here. Yeah, currently it's got no cover. Oh, no, it's valid. There you go, July 2024. But you'll get, we'll get, you'll get a year from the date of um, from the date of um, collection of the vehicle. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video. Please do check out our reviews and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, bye-bye.